Find a new my friend. Welcome, welcome. Is your baby okay? Nice and dry. It's incredible. There's literally thousands of people passing through here um, every night. And it's about a probably about a five kilometer stretch of beach and um, the boats just basically arrive all along the stretch of beach. Some pretty dangerous areas by the lighthouse up front. When a boat comes in we send one of the doctors over or one of the nurses and they just do a quick triage and, um, and assess all the infants and the, and the children and also the elderly. And then they get sent across to this camp where, they, um, where they're warmed, heated and, um, and dressed and fed something as well. So that's the process that goes, happens over and over again throughout the day. The Adventists are getting known in this area, like even our bus is, is a major focal point on the whole relief network here. Yeah? It's basically the best facility we have out of all the beachfront clinics because it's warm. And we've, we've basically tried to include as many of the, of the other volunteers as part of our team. So we've got quite a few Muslim doctors and nurses coming through working with us. I've always wanted to go to the beach. Then day one from... Det, det, är, det är nog inte jag som eh, väljer, jag måste. Det är, jag kan inte bara sitta hemma och vara i min vardag. Det här är en eh, verklighet som eh, vi måste försöka göra någonting åt. By being here, you're an example. You show who you are, how you are, what you do and what you believe in. My action speaks. And that makes a difference to the locals as well as to the people that I work with. One of the most important ways that we can convey our message is is um, is by caring for people and, and by loving them. Are you feeling better now? Are you okay? As you can see, the needs here are really, really big, enormous. This is only the food line, and people are waiting here even for two hours just to get some sandwiches. They rely on sandwiches for a month they have been here. So it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, just a sandwich with cheese. It has been raining for days, and they don't have proper shoes. Kids, small babies, everybody is getting sick. So the help is needed, and I think there is no seconds to wait. We, we need to be here, and we need to be here now. Det var väldigt kallt på tågstationen så det var sån vind som när det blåser så blåser det genom marg och ben. Det är ju flera tusen på en en tåg, ett tåg. Eh och då kom barnen ut, någon hade jackor, andra hade inte. Eh och det var väldigt ont då det kom ett par föräldrar och spurte jacket, jacket så vi skönt att de ville ha jacket till barnen sitt. Vi fick samla in lite pengar till det och så drog vi på bazaren och fick köpt eh, väldigt många jackor för en billig penge som vi då kunde dela ut den nästa dagen. Det var väldigt fint att se då för då kom det barn som bara hade tunna regnponchor och så kunde vi ge de tycke jackor som och de blev väldigt glada för det. Även om man har sett saker på TV så kommer du in i en helt ja det är som en ny värld du kommer in i. Det blir så mycket mer personligt när du kommer dit ner och du ser. För då fattar jag att oj men dessa människor de är verkligen på på flykt. Det gick liksom inte riktigt upp men you just have to see a boat arrive and you just you realize these people are just like us. They just been ravaged by war um, and they they want some security and and a future. And I can see just reaching out to them, just you know, putting your arm around someone, you know, just drying their kids, okay. giving them some warm clothes, giving them food. Just you know, we talk about the 1040 window being so you know unreachable, but actually they're not. They um, they're human beings, all looking for meaning, looking for um, looking for hope. Once we start caring and reaching out to them, then you, you just realize those barriers just they just fall away.